Hey everyone, this is Mike and today we are back in Wizard of Legend as today marks the second year anniversary of Wizard of Legend's release and to celebrate that they have a small update ready for us as well that adds a bunch of new things as well as some quality of life stuff as well. So let's just jump straight into it, look at the new features that they added and then elaborate here or there as well. First of all, we have a new NPC in your home that will allow you to save up to three custom builds. This is a feature that has been requested quite often in the Discord server. A lot of people wanted to be able to save their builds so that it was easy to swap in between them. Like for example, I have a specific build if I want to just like have some fun in the Chaos Trials or just run through them. Uh, I have a build that is pretty consistent for me and then I can just save that one and then for example I like running a specific other thing like fall limited edition robe uh, for boss rush because it allows me to take a lot of curses so I can basically save those two loadouts into this new NPC and then just hot swap in between them as I see fit uh, which is pretty useful for people that have specific builds that they like running a lot uh, so they can just switch in between all of them. Together with that, they also added a little trophy room to the right of your room as well, uh, where it will basically record your best runs through the Chaos Trials, Boss Rush, as well as Endless Mode. You just have to walk up to the NPC and it will show you your best times. Together with that, we now have party chests. Normally, Tuffy can spawn in the Chaos Trials, as you've probably come across them already. Um, but now, in his place, there can also be a party chest waiting for you instead. The chance of a party chest spawning is incredibly low. So much so that when I was talking to the developers yesterday, uh, he said that he's basically never seen one when he was playtesting the update. So I got pretty lucky to find one on pretty much like my second or third run, I believe it was. And these will include a predefined set of relics and arcana um, that are basically like focused around a specific theme. So for example, I got the curse chest, which gave me double trouble, double toil and Noxus heavenly boots. Uh, for example, an another thing that he said could be all of the dragon arcana, just to give an example. Um, so basically these will all be themed loadouts that you can get out of them. Of course, it is totally optional to pick up the relics or the arcana that they drop. So you don't always have to take what you um, like, basically take what it gives you. You can take what you want instead. They also added a Relic and Arcana vendor before the final boss along with a short run-up and counter to there as well. One of the things that a lot of people were kind of complaining about and that I had some complaints about as well is that when you beat the final council member you still get gold from them but there is no place for you to spend that gold. And now they basically added a Relic and an Arcana vendor right before uh, you finish the f well you get to go to the final boss and thus you can spend all of the final gold that you pick up from that final council member. Now together with that there is also a small run-up encounter. This means that there are basically a couple of rooms that you have to go through as you are walking up to these two final vendors and there will also be a little mini boss in the end as well so you'll have to fight through that. will probably make the game a little bit more difficult as well because of course these I believe scale, I'm not 100% sure of that. Um, but of course, like as you go through the dungeon or as you go through the Chaos Trials, the difficulty scales up. So these might be level 4 enemies. I didn't quite check myself because uh, there was so much stuff going on on the screen. Uh, but basically, there is a final run-up before you get to fight Sura now. So you can get uh, some extra gold from all of these enemies. And then you can spend that gold to stock up on some final items before you fight the final boss. So it basically makes it a little bit more exciting to run up to Sura rather than you've beaten the final council member, here's the final boss of the game. Now there's a little segment that you have to go through first, which I thought was really cool. Now, we also got some quality of life changes when it comes down to the visuals, and it is that a bunch of new headgear relics now also got visuals in the game. So for example, previously when you picked up the horse head, Equia Strap, you got like a horse mask on your face. When you picked up the Curse Eater's mask, the raccoon mask, uh, you got that one as well, the... I believe it's like the magician's hat or something like that. Give you a hat if you then combined it with the wand, it would change your complete outfit and that kind of stuff. And now they've basically added a couple of more visuals to the game. So it's always nice to see when you pick up those kind of headgear pieces um, that they can now basically be visually represented on your wizard as well. So I think basically add just a little bit of flair to the game, so to speak. Together with that, we also got a couple of new things, of course, as well, when it comes down to our relics and arcana. No standard relics this time around, no new outfits as well, but we did get 14 new standard arcana. Two for each element and four new chaos arcana. Now, the cool thing about these chaos arcana is that they are only standard arcana. So before, uh, each standard chaos arcana also had a signature version. These, one, uh, these ones, these four new ones, 
are only standard arcana so you won't be able to get them as a signature version just yet who knows maybe they might do that in a future update but for now they're only standard arcana these can now also be acquired in a different way than before. So before we could only get Chaos Arcana from beating the Chaos Trials, like doing the three council members and then fighting Sura at the end. But now we can also get Chaos Arcana from beating the Boss Rush mode, because of course Boss Rush has you fight all five of the council members and then Sura at the end, but there was no real reward. Uh, like there, well, of course you get a bunch of Chaos Gems. But it isn't the same as beating a full Chaos Trials run and then getting a new Chaos Arcana. Now you'll be able to get that Chaos Arcana from beating Boss Rush as well. Uh, which I think is a really good addition because Boss Rush in some ways can be a little bit harder than the normal Chaos Trials. As Chaos Trials goes up to level 3 um, because there's only 3 council members that you have to fight. But in Boss Rush they scale up to level 5 of course because there are 5 council members that you have to fight. Uh, so Boss Rush usually a little bit harder to complete than a normal run through the Chaos Trial, so it's really cool to see that they now added a Chaos uh, Arcana there as well as a reward when you manage to beat it. Then, together with that, we have 12 new Cursed Relics. A few of them will be in the plaza, so before you start the run, make sure you visit Nox uh, so that you can go pick up a Cursed Relic right there. And then inside of the Chaos Trials themselves, we got a couple of new Cursed Relics as well, together with two Combination Relics. If you don't know what a Combination Relic is, basically you start off with a, or, well, can start with either one really but you have a normal relic you have a cursed relic and then the effects combine together to basically make a stronger effect and a stronger relic as well uh, which can be really run defining for example perfect time crystal is an amazing thing uh, ancestral gauntlets you can do some really cool stuff with that as well uh, so basically two extra combination relics uh, will make for a pretty fun gameplay as well now, as for some more quality of life changes that they added, they also added a loadout NPC to versus mode, so you have one for PvE and you also have one for PvP. All of the stores that you find now have one extra item in their lineup. So for example, when we look at the relic vendor, the health potion has been moved to the side and you can get an extra relic to choose from right there. Then in the arcana vendor, we now have an extra enhanced arcana. So normally you had three arcana, one enhanced. Now you have three normal arcana, two enhanced arcana. So it's going to be really good to find those enhanced arcanas. And then when it comes down to Nox himself, he now has four items on display rather than just the three. So it should be a lot easier to basically find the specific things that you are looking for for your build, whether it be relics, cursed relics, or specific enhanced arcanas and that kind of stuff. Should be a lot easier to get the stuff that you want. Savil, the one that upgrades your robe or your outfit, now also takes less HP, so it's going to be a lot easier to survive basically. And Chaos Arcana now also have a chance of appearing in the Arcana store starting for loop 3 and above. So basically when you are doing endless mode uh, and you don't have the signature, well what is it called, the insignia of legend, then normally you can't fight Chaos Arcana, but now if you're going to be looping a bunch and you don't have this relic on you, well, starting from loop 3 and above, you'll be able to see some Chaos Arcana spawn in the Arcana vendor store as well. Uh, which is really cool stuff right there. They also added a bunch of uh, changes to relics and arcana. I'm of course not going to be going over all of them, but basically a bunch of adjustments here or there. Um, just look over at the change log. It will be posted on the Discord when it goes live, of course, as well. But those are pretty much the things uh, that you can expect in this update. We have the new NPC to save loadouts. We have the trophy room that you can check out as well. We have the party chests, the Arcana relic vendor, as well as a short run up towards Sura. Extra headgear visuals, new standard Arcana, new cursed relics, new combination relics, the ability to get Chaos Arcana from Boss Rush, the stores offering extra items in their lineup, Saville taking less HP, and then of course Chaos Arcana being able to spawn in endless mode from loop 3 and above. So those are kind of like the things that are in this current update. Uh, as I'm making this video, it's not out just yet. Maybe by the time that I like by the time that you watch this video, it might be out already. But if not, keep an eye out on the Discord. People will definitely be pinged. Uh, by the time that this update goes live later today. But that's going to be it for me. I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank my Patreons for supporting me. And I'll see you in the next one.